Okay, let's delete the default cube, as always. And we will add a plane. Let's go to edit mode, right click and subdivide it. Yeah, like 100 times. Then we will add a displacement modifier. Click new to create a new texture. Switch to the texture tab and select clouds. Let's scale it down to 0 0.1. Then we can switch back to our displacement modifier and also type in 0 0.1. Then it's a little bit smoother. And also add a subdivision surface to smooth it out. And also shade smooth. And now we are prepared to add a skin texture. And we did this just that you can see also the subsurface scattering and um, yes, some, some detail. So let's open the shader editor and select the material. First, we will start with the base color. I just googled the basic skin colors for, for humans and this is one of them. So we can, we can type it in ah, and let's switch to cycles and to the windowing. And also let's create sunlight with a strength of five and maybe a rotation yeah, like this. So now we can work on our skin shader. So we set it up the hex code for one of the human skin tones. Also, we can increase uh, subsurface scattering a little bit that uh, we will have light shines through some parts of our skin. And also we should change these values a little bit to, I guess it was 0 0.12 and 0 0.06. Yes. Okay. Let's start with texture, coordinate, node, and the mapping node, just to control what we are doing. And put the object to the vector. And let's add a Veroni texture, or Veronai, I don't know. Veronoi, I, I don't know how to pronounce this. Then put the vector into the vector and switch to F1 smooth. Increase the scale very, very high to just like 2500. Reduce the smoothness a little bit. Then let's create a bump node. Nope. Bump, not attribute. Put the position into the height and the bump into the normal. Also decrease the strength. We will add a Musgrave texture. Also plug the vector into the vector. We increase the scale to 70 and the detail to the maximum. Also decrease the dimension to 0 0.5 and the lacunarity to 5. Then you can duplicate the bump node and put the height into the height of the new bump node. Also invert it. 0.2 for the strength and the distance to 0.1. And put the normal into the normal of the first bump node and invert it also. And then we need another Veroni or Veroni texture. Just duplicate it and put again the vector into the vector. Decrease the scale now a little bit to 500 because this is like a second layer on top of the skin cells, what we are creating now. If you watch to like, for example, your hand and you see the first cell structure, um, if you use a glass to see more details of your skin, you can see that, that in your cell structure, 
are more smaller structures. And this is what we created with the first Veroni texture. And now we are creating the, the main structure. That's why we uh, decrease the scale a little bit. And also the smooth smoothness. Then we will create invert node because we need to invert the position. Let's duplicate the bump node. Deselect the invert and put the color into the height. And now you can see first results. Okay, and now we need a displacement node. Put the color into the height. Um, sorry, this color and the displacement into the displacement for extra detail. And if you want, you can not just use the displacement node, you also can enable displacement and bump in your material properties. Also set in the render settings from supported to experimental. Go to your modifier tab and at a subdivision surface modifier and choose adaptive subdivision to use wheel geometry but we have to decrease the scale of our displacement node in our shader editor and here you can see the difference between the displacement node just using the bump option and the displacement node using the displacement and bump option and the adaptive subdivision Yes, and that's basically it. We can do some adjustments to our uh, skin color because our skin don't has one simple color because we also have some we have some differences. Let's create a noise texture. Let's increase the scale to 200, detail to the maximum. Then we will create a color ramp, most used node in my case, a factor into the factor this to yes, something like this and like this and now we will also copy our our skin tone let's plug it to to the color that now we can see what we have done we just created some some artifacts like most of humans has but we need our skin color back and this artifact little bit darker so let's create new noise texture texture or maybe just duplicate it uh, make it to 4d for example that we can change some stuff later decrease the scale to 10 and also duplicate the color ramp like i said the most used node <laughs> just put this right to the end then create mix rbg node multiply paste our skin tone just duplicate the multiply again choose overlay and put the color the second color yes and that's it thanks for watching and see you next time